a video for using the inverse distribution buttons on your calculator. This is used for confidence intervals, finding your Z and T score. So let's say I've got a 95% confidence level. I know for a Z score, I can look it up in a table, and I honestly, I know it should be 1.96. But that's just because I've done it a lot. So let's try it in our calculator. So go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And here's that idea again, is that you're asking, where does 95% of the middle content lay when you're talking about a 95% confidence level? So this is the idea behind it, because that means 95% of your sample means, or sample proportions, depending on which one you're working with, will be within reach of that particular mu. And I centered this at zero. I guess I should just put mu. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go to the distribution button, second distribution, and we're going to use the inverse normal. Now the inverse normal, if you have a new operating system on your 84 or your um, 83, is you'll have this, where it's, you'll have this prompt area, this prompt, and it'll say left, center, and right. Some of you will only have the prompt, and it won't have a left, center, right. It won't say tail, and so then you have to do my trick. So let's just talk about this. So for here, if you have this, it's great. You can say 95%, and I want it centered, and we'll hit paste and enter, and there we go. I know it's about 1.9, round that 6, to about 1.96. Awesome. Now, what if I didn't have that? I go second distribution, inverse normal, and if I don't have that, then what it's always going to do is a left tail. And so if it's always doing the area of a left tail, then if I'm looking for this one, if I'm looking for the positive z-score, then I need to consider not the 95%, but the entire area this way. So the question becomes, how much area do I need to add on? How much extra area? How well, if this is 95% in the middle, then that means I have 5% left over, and since that needs to be equally distributed between the two tails, that means that there's 2.5% for each tail. So instead of 95%, that means that total area is actually 97.5% or 0.975. So I will go ahead, I will paste that, and here it gives me 1 1.95999, exactly what I had before, and I can see that my z-score is 1.96. Now if you do not have that lovely prompt that I have, what it's going to do is it's going to say inverse norm, and it won't care. That means that your calculator does absolutely does not have the left, center, or right tails. And it's always going to be a left tail, and so what it's looking for is, if you have this, and just a blank screen, it's looking for the area. It's looking for... Sorry, <laughs> it's looking for a mu, and then it's looking for sigma. If you just want your z-score, then you can go ahead and, and set it for the standard normal, which is what I've been doing, which is 0 and 1, and then that way you don't have to deal with anything. Um, and there you go. All right. So I will do one for the t up next.